Hello and welcome to HardwayMountainMinistry.com I'm making a video here about the Mr. Bryce Williams who seems to have taken two lives today for no good reason. I've got his uh, Twitter page up here that's been taken down if you try to say anything to him or click on anything you'll get the message that uh, sorry that the user is suspended already so luckily I've got this already saved before it got lost or taken down I should say I'm not much on making these videos but I'm gonna tell you right now the Lord has moved me to make this one about this man I've looked through what I can find on him and it seems to be that he had a problem with Allison, the reporter, it says here that he made, that Allison made a racist comment and uh, about him, and he filed an EEOC report, which has a discrimination report that he's filed against her, and then they hired her after that, is what he's saying. Now, these are the ramblings of a murderer. These are the ramblings of a reprobate. Uh, so you can't believe any of the stuff that, that he's got posted up here, I don't think. Because he's, at the time, these minutes, 40 minutes ago, 41 minutes ago, he's tweeting as he's running from the police. So, you know, you can't believe the ramblings. He's just trying to save his skin. But you're going back here, uh, you look at some of the things that he has posted. One of the things that I found... Uh, he mentions that he was celebrating a birthday. Well, there he, there he is talking about his sexy bedroom and reprobate, obviously. Well, I mean, how can a bedroom be sexy? And besides that, the uh, Lord calls us to look at our wives as sexy, not as a room. And uh, obviously, he's not looking at a wife. He's just thinking about other things. <clears throat> if you're going back right here, he's saying that he's a Jehovah's Witness. Jehovah's Witness, which is a cult, it's not Christian whatsoever. But um, anyhow, about it, I'm sure I'll get some hate mail on that. But it's the truth. I uh, said he's in, got in trouble for celebrating his second birthday, but I'm guessing that uh, this was when he was little, because I, that says he's mommy there. But looking through here uh, that's as far back as it'll let you go on the, on this page that I have saved uh, so you can look at the face of a murderer here I have his Facebook page up also and uh, I'm guessing that he wanted to get one last good report in now here you're gonna see a bunch of stuff I'm gonna say that you don't want to read all these words so I because there's a lot of cursing on here. People are gotten on there and, and said something to him on or commented on his page. They've already taken his personal page down, which he had referred you to. This is his news page. And uh, going through it, he, he talks, he really talks really bad about lots of things. He's not, doesn't seem to be a very nice person. But here is the van, vanity, the vanity of a murderer. He filmed his own murder. Folks, you praise God, you're hearing what I'm saying. He filmed his own murder. I, you know, demons were upon this man, and uh, I, someone should have prayed him out of him a long time ago. If you look back through his history, he's been having lots of problems. I'm guessing that something was said to him that really ticked him off and made him do this. But nothing, nothing nothing if you hear what I'm saying nothing should pr call you to murder nothing praise God nothing should do that uh, you know but the Lord commands us not to murder folks not to kill anybody it's in the commandments uh, why in the world he would do such a thing I don't know I'm gonna go ahead and pause that and get that out of the way I don't ever want to see that again if I don't have to but this young lady she's seen him coming at him uh, you can imagine what's going through her mind. I uh, hope, hopefully, she was praying, to, you know, saying, "Lord, you know, I'm, I'm yours. Take me with you." Hopefully, that's what she was doing. But uh, there he is. There's the horrible person 
and uh, and his whole thing about this whole thing is this right here folks this right here made a racist comment that, that that is his whole defense about that that is how far the, the liberals have pushed a racist agenda in this country <clears throat> and turned us away from, turned this country away from the lord turned this country away from christianity and turned us on each other folks it's turned us on each other now, and Satan has a hand in that. We know that. We know that's what's pushing it. But, folks, we can't keep up this way. We can't keep up this way. A racist comment? Come on. Come on, folks. I mean, we've all been called names. I get called names all the time because, you know, Pastor Kelly, <laughs> Pastor Kelly's gotten, you know, someone gets mad at me and they say all kinds of things. You know, so what? Because I say what I want and I say what I mean. Uh, and I won't tell you a lie ever. So there it is. That's what we got. And we're praying for them and uh, praying for their families, praying for their friends, praying for their loved ones. Both of them was engaged to be married and that's that's almost unheard of as 24 anymore because the devil's taking care of that too but uh we're gonna leave that out there there and uh pastor kelly gonna sign off right now and uh i'm gonna be praying for these folks as family i'm gonna be praying for that reprobate to see the air of his ways i'm gonna be praying for the police to catch him safely and and no one get hurt trying to catch him and him not hurt anyone else lord be with them lord make him see their error of the ways lord jesus christ we pray to you we pray to you right now come down and, and and put your healing grace on these families that are hurting so bad lord we hope that these two young folks are walking with you we hope that they were we were washed in the blood of jesus christ and they're with you we we pray that this, this we pray for their families and the hurting the hurting and lord we humble ourselves to you to give all the comfort that you can to anyone that was affected by this lord in jesus name we pray amen pastor kelly signing off